Come on, I just went out. Come on, someone's gotta be listening to me. Come on, is Reyes asleep at her post or something? Damn it! Uh, oh, hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Fallout New Vegas. Last time, uh, we got the last of our little team to break out, break into the Sierra Madre. I almost said we were gonna break out. I wish we could have broken out, because I would take the war over this place any day. Hey, if you want it, you you can have it. I, I this thing has led me to nothing but trouble. Uh, but anyways, uh, we got Dean. We got him to his lo location. Uh, I spent about a good ten to twenty minutes uh, flopping around in the cloud to try and find something that I was completely wrong about, and it's not even in the right location. Uh, today we are gonna hopefully get Christine and Dog to their respective locations and possibly get to our location so we can finally get away, make our way into the casino. I doubt we are going to by the end of this, but, eh, you know, we'll just see how far we can get. Now, before anything happens, I might as well, uh, make a mental note of something. I need to go back to where Dean is before we go and drop Christine off at her location thing is I actually missed an upgrade that was by his location it was literally right next to where he was supposed to stand for like his part in the break-in so before we head over to the uh, switching station which I can actually fast travel over there oh, that would have been useful uh, I'm gonna meet you back to where we left Dean off so that I can pick up that upgrade for later And we've arrived. Dino boy, did you miss me? Hold the wires, Dean. Talk about being a saint. Couldn't I? I knew you missed me. Anyways, I can't really be faulted too much by missing the upgrade right here, which is the upgrade for the automatic rifle. Because uh, it does kind of blend into the ground right here, given the ugly brown Gears of War palette that the, the Puesta del Sol has for its color scheme. Now, with all that said and done, let's head on over to the... I can't fast jump to the switching station. Alright, I'll see you when I finally make my way over there. Uh, it was good to know I was completely wrong and you actually can't fast travel in this DLC. Another reason to not like it as much as the other ones. Alright, we've made it to the switching station. Let's head on inside. For a second, I almost said the pumping station. I don't know why. I'm getting like Jack 2 flashbacks. I need to go play that game again because it's been too long. I need to hope play that whole series again. Christine's eyes start around the walls to the ceiling. She glances at the exit and takes a slow but I didn't do it. I don't know what it was, but I know I didn't do it. Oh, very, very high tech. Ooh, so oh man, four rats. Eh, not worth it. Oh, there 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 is a radio in here. Thankfully, with Christine as my party member, we don't ha we get a little bit of a leeway. There you are. Oh wait, I don't think it's activated. Doesn't look like it. All right, let's head on in. See if we can find this radio before it kills us. The door won't open. It looks like there's any power running to it. Next on the wall and twist her hand. Uh, where do you see that, Christine? Listen before you lose a head. Ah ha 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 ha. Uh, the circuit breaker looks like it's been jury rigged at some point in the past, but it's clearly in need of repair. So we can leave the circuit breaker alone. Since we have repair 60, we can jury rig the circuit breaker or six the circuit breaker using parts. You need three electric fuse, electric block fuses to fix the circuit breaker. Well, I don't know where to get those, but I got the 60 repair, so let's just use that. A few quick adjustments and the power comes back on. That seems like a bad idea. Christine to the elevator to the manual override shirt number. All right. Let's see. Simmons, the verification system is on the fritz again. I need to even out the power distribution mainly for the new generator. We're running online. It's positive, positively sweltering down in that cramped little room, and you know I don't cope well with the heat. I like to work remotely. What's the password for the backup machine again? No idea. Uh, terminal, let's see. Is there anything I, uh, status report? 
Ventilation's all shot to hell, which is going to be a problem when summer hits. The pipes backed up, the chamber started sweltering and out this red dust cloud like rust, whatever it was, it caused the guys to start choking and vomiting. Looks like the place was getting sprayed for roaches, except the bug spray was hitting us, got the boys in the clinic, but put them out of commission. Mr. Yesterday said he couldn't justify having them pay, but he'd see what he could do on the on the side. Sounds like he was going to get them some cans a little green for keeping their mouth shut. No power out. Uh, warning large fluctuations of the power detected large energy. Okay, so this place is on the fritz. Hmm. Oh, Christine, you ready to go into hell? I knew you were. First things first, I need to get out of here. There you are. They blend in a little too well here. You There we go. Um Treasure's all mine. Not anymore, it isn't. It's gonna be mine. I know greed is like the, the big thing behind the DLC. Uh, where's that radio at? Be around here somewhere. Uh-oh. Back, 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 back. I hear any speakers, so I can't really get any good idea where the radio is. Uh oh. Nope. Nope. Ugh. Can't really get a good look at. Christine out to the toxic cloud, makes a walking motion with her fingers and slowly shakes her head. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're gonna be walking through there. Very easy. I should have probably had Dean with me. He would have been able to get through here, no problem. I mean, I could try and parkour my way all the way up to the other side. Of course, my head will probably explode before that happens. And there's the room we need to get into. All right, so like, why don't we make this a little smart? The way we need to go, we need to find a, looks like another staircase, which is right over there. And you know what, can I? Can I cheese it? Yeah, it? Looks like I might be able to cheese it. Cheese! Hey! Cheesing actually works. And even Christine didn't have to cheese it. She's just that awesome. Uh, left way is to whatever that is. Right way is to the way we need to go. Okay, so... The way the compass points, you want to go the opposite direction. That's usually how the name of the game goes. Oh god! Ah, damn it! And it, it's a, it's a shielded one. Nope. Back, back. All right, maybe there's a way to shut it off. Go, 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 go! Is you're gonna end really well or really bad? Ah, oh, man. All right. Uh, Straws? Ah, I thought so. Buried. Buried alive with my head as a bloody stump now. Uh, turn speakers off. Whew! No, oh, this poor fellow. Dean's Electronics. Well, judging by this tripwire, I guess the um, the speaker is not the thing that killed him. I don't know what what was inside here, but whatever. Maybe the speaker did kill him because he doesn't have a head anymore. Oh well, I don't know if that shut that speaker off or all the speakers in the room off. Would be happy with the latter. It looks like that seems to be the way. Seeing I in the direction of the screeching sounds, looks frustrated, and she is starting to cop an attitude with me. Not that bad in here. I mean, you can look a little nicer. Uh, subject case of emergency, second shift, suits are here. These new chemical suits came in today so we could check out the ventilation chamber to see how the cloud cocktail formed. Suits are kind of creepy looking, hard to talk in them, so we have to use a sign language to actually make sense of each other. At least we can check out the pipes and ventilation chambers now. Gas worries me, though. Really mess the guys up if the chambers get backed up again. 
hate to see with the see that gas get out and wipe out the villa. So kind of an origin story of the ghost people and like what they were before the the whole situation with the, the bombs and like the the cloud killing everyone. Well not really the cloud that killed everyone. That's something for a bit later. But I might as well talk a little bit ooh, look nice little break room. Um, I might as well talk a little bit about the ghost people in general and what they were. Um, as the terminals say, ooh, another automatic rifle. Uh, the ghost people were, were originally the construction crew who were busy, you know, getting the villa, getting like everything for the Sierra Madre ready for the grand opening. Until they unearthed the cloud, which at first it was just like, okay, this is starting to take a toll on us. We need to actually, you know, be able to get through this and see what happens. Problem is with the suits is that the cloud was very corrosive and it basically uh, fused the locks on the suit together so they couldn't, you know, get them off. They actually had to cut them out of the suits because it was just so corroded. Remote maintenance terminal, terminal password. All right, that sounds important. Uh, toxic samples. I don't know what that is but anyways uh but when the bombs fell it, it pretty much unleashed even more of the cloud so they couldn't do anything about it because you know it, it overtook the villa and like with the bombs falling no one could help them so the people who were inside the suits it kind of like twisted their minds and they kind of started to go a little insane and they basically became the ghost people who's the only uh, thing is to you hear a loud noise coming from the room in the west. It sounds like the ventilation systems are firing up, clearing the cloud out of the switching stations, basement sections, at plus of those streets. Oh, that's nice. It clears out a bit of the cloud for us. Nice. Oh, wait, did it vent it out into the streets? Ugh. Ah, shit. Uh, but basically, that's the origin of the ghost people. They have really kick ass looking, uh, uh, ha hazardous suits. Wouldn't mind actually getting one for myself. I also wouldn't mind having my head explode. Come on. Come on. I know there's probably something I've missed a little bit in the lore of those guys, and I'm not a lore expert. I just wanted to, like, give, like, a little rundown of the, the history of this place and the history of, like, the enemies. They're so intimidating and creepy as hell. And I think there's some inside the pump, the switching station. I keep saying pumping station. What is the cost of my ineptitude? Maintenance reports, turn the speakers off. Oh, nope, it's not ghost people, it's turrets. Who puts turrets in a switching station? I ask you. Not a bad looking place in here. Very like calming. Ooh, what do we got here? Oh, the key. So you'd have to go through the whole gauntlet to just get the the key for the whatever it is. Old man Ingus left the, left his keys on one of the consoles again, so I'm making this note to remind myself to give it back to him next time I see him. We should stuff his locker full of dandy boy apples or something. Maybe then he'll be less forgetful. Suit damage. Sure, the docs at the clinic got mad, but we didn't have any choice if we wanted to get medical attention after the gas hit us, so we cut his suit open. Basically, it's just telling what I said earlier. Uh, we cut his suit open with one of those surplus steak knives. Things could cut through a T-bone like it was hot butter. The rest of us tried to pry the locks off our, the, off our suits. Finally had to use the knives on ours, too. Can't wait until this job is over and we can let the villa collapse on itself. That'll be too bi- They'll be too busy at the casino anyway. So yeah, suits uh, corroded shut, couldn't get them open, so they had to cut themselves out of it. Well, this looks like the location. Tinted reading glasses. No thanks. Ooh, but what I will take is Christine sign language in herself. Christine motions you to the door and easy and holding motion with her hand. I need you to go down to the manual bypass room, regulate the power. Christine glances at the elevator. Her expression becomes worried. She looks back to you, then reluctantly shakes her head. Uh, what's wrong? 
Christine studies the elevator frame, raises a hand, then sets them down, then raises them again. She gives a silent sigh of exasperation and frowns at the elevator. Her hand brushes the side of her face. I have no idea what your problem is. Her face becomes angry. She points at the elevator, points downwards, then wraps her arms around her and shakes her head. Alright, let me see if I can find another way to do this without sending you down there. Christine smiles slightly in relief, then nods. She opens her mouth slightly, then closes it, frustrated. She points at you, then makes a fist, and puts it to her chest, then nods. Alright. I gain access to the remote maintenance terminal for Christine. Let's see, Sierra Madre power regulation system in case of emergency. Transfer control to this station. There we go. Should be easy. Christine motion with you. The one easy that makes pulling motion with her hand. She seems hesitant to go near it. Just found a way to bypass from here. You should be able to use the terminal over there. Christine nods gratefully. She glances in the direction of the terminal. The nub you smiles and gives a thumbs up. Are you going to be okay here? She nods, then gestures at your hand, offers hers. She holds it, meeting your eyes and intently for a few moments. She gives her hand a gentle squeeze and releases it. We'll get through this. She narrows her eyes, determined, then gives a last nod. Oh my god, she became a floating head! Also, we lost our signal interference perk. Did she give me back my... All the, that suit? Get my jumpsuit, motorcycle hose here. Oh, she actually did give you back the suit. That's actually really smart programming on the developer's side. I'm actually quite impressed. Anyways, we also got a hologram rifle reinforced components. Thankfully, I did not forget this uh, upgrade. Unlike the last time. I'm sorry, Dean. I'm sorry, past me. You alright, Christine? Christine points to the sky, makes a fist, and makes an explosion gesture with her fingers. Alright, all that's left is dog. Push the, push the up button. You going up? Ooh. This place has seen better days. Chips, at least. I don't know. How many chips do I have? Do I have enough to get another upgrade? Because I would like to. Mother. I only got 37 chips. I really would have loved to have gotten that snow globe. But sadly, it's not in Cuesta del Sol. It's in Salida del Sol, which thankfully that's where I have to take Dog and God, so we'll just have to go that way. Oh wow, it actually does clear out a lot of the, the, the cloud in the villa. Where the hell are we actually? All right, so we're pretty close to the, the way to Puesta, or the entrance back to the villa. But thankfully, with the cloud gun, we can actually see a little bit and actually get in some of these rooms. Wait, is this the room that we sent Dean into? <coughs> Ow. My shin. Hmm. Ooh, what do we have over here? No, oh, it's just a lantern. Oh, but that, that nice little makeshift bed area. And, of course, I can't sleep here to regain health because that would be too easy. Oh, one of the places we had to get the one of the fuse boxes for the thing. Or, you know, you could just come here when you got 60 repair and, you know, not have to worry about it. Yup. There we go. Anything in here? Doesn't look like it. I might have already came in here and cleaned this place out. Or maybe I did it in like a, before I died and all that stuff. Ah oh, well. Uh, now I might as well just take the, the Psycho. I doubt I'm ever going to use it. I mean, the ghost people haven't really been that much of a bother since mostly because they're dead. You have anything on you? Nah. Nothing of significant value. There is a vending machine over here, so why don't we see how much the uh, mods are. 
All right, so it's 250 chips and uh, 100 chips. So we need 350 chips if we want to get both of the mods. Also, a demolition charge. We're actually pretty close to getting that. All right. Uh, is there anything in this room? It looks like a looks like a remains of a shop. There's a lot of chips in there. That's for sure, and that's why I'm gonna take it. Ooh, a very hard safe. It's a good thing I came in here before we left because I probably would completely forget about it and probably not even a worthwhile reward for breaking into this super hard safe. Come on. Come on. Darn cheap bobby pins. Wow. Really worth it. I mean, okay, I guess we get a cosmic knife, which actually is something I'm kind of looking for. Anything else? Figures. Because I actually do need to get at least two more cosmic knives if I want to get both of them. Ooh, some Rexo cleaner. And also all their upgrade versions. Because not only can we clean them, we can also superheat them. And also we can uh, tape them together and make a super clean knife spear. It's actually really good. It's actually a much more powerful version of the simple knife spear. Now, it would only be helpful if I could find a damn workbench so I could actually, you know, work on it. Hey, how's it going? Enjoy, enjoying the villa? Good. Ooh, what's this? Jib, I'll so, always take it. Are we on our way to somewhere else? A gala event, perhaps? Uh, what do you know Regular about the events? Event is the way to bring the old man out. He won't show himself until the casino doors are open. So triggering the event is key. And the key. The question becomes, can we trust each other to do this? We'll see. If we go there, the you'll have question to is, can I trust you? Control. If you bring Dog out, then... I'll make sure you pay in blood. Any reason why you're assigned to Maybe this point it's in the map? Familiar, comfortable. Practice makes perfect. And as much as it bruises my ego, some things require brute strength. In the right combination. Besides, none of your assembled band of thieves look able to rip a 200-year rusted power switch down like a machete to fire up an entire town. More. Hmm. Who is this old man who Don't brought play us here? stupid. I already have to mind one child. You must have figured it out by now. The old man obsessed with the Sierra Madre, riddled with greed. Hoped you might be him when I woke up. All you are is his hand. You're the same kind of greed. Followed the radio, the broadcast, and now you're here, all confused. Not for long. You'll figure it out. Hey, listen, I, I got a chance to get a vacation to get away from the war. I took it, and y this is why you don't open spam emails. So you're the one who knows how of I got to the villa. I know. Even if I don't see it happen, down in the cage, I hear echoes of the footfalls, the click of the collars. Every I time feel like we've already I had this conversation you, before. I know exactly how you got here. You couldn't help yourselves any more than dog can help himself. You heard the voice, the promise. And then you walked right into one of the old man's traps. Then, then Dog comes for you, drags you here. Yeah, I feel like we've already had this conversation before. And I want to know more about... Do you have any idea what he's doing here? Heard the here? call of the Sierra Madre, just like you did. Exactly the same way. Finds out it's more than a story comes to this shining poisonous grail this jewel of the desert dog knows him more than i do 
Dog's always nodding, always obeying him, because he's weak and hungry and greedy for master's affection. Ask what him. Dog now? Or better, don't. It wouldn't be an interesting conversation, much like this one. I beg to differ. All right, that's enough for now. If Let's get it and move the on. Clever one. What do you want? Well, I did spec myself into intelligence when this adventure started. I'll follow you, for now. All right, so we got back. We got dog back in our party, or I guess God in this case. And you know what? Uh, I might as well pop uh, some purified water just so we can heal up a little bit because that cloud took a lot out of me. All right, so the location we need to go is over here, which I believe is to Salida del Sol. Puesto del Sol was to the west, and now Salida's to the Kill east. This one before they call others. Uh oh. You heard him. You guys are still terrifying. Um, where'd he go? Oh god. Uh, okay, your footloose dance is not really that intimidating. Like, look at this. It looks like he's dancing the footloose. And that's usually what happens to most people who watch Footloose. Their head just explodes from the, the 90s. The pure 90s. Or was it the 80s? I don't remember. I've never watched Footloose. So that probably explains a lot. Eh, you know what? I might as well go grab his bear trap fist to fix the one I have. Because I'd hate to punch one of these guys and this thing just snaps and smacks me right in the face. Oh, I got two of them. Even better condition. I also probably should fix the automatic rifle as well. There we go. And the 9mm. Yeah, 9mm. Want to save the police pistol. It's actually been quite useful. Ooh. I will definitely take all these chips. More chips means more mods, and more mods means more happiness towards me. Yes, yes, I know. It's all my fault that I'm here. I, I've learned an important lesson today. And that lesson is spam is bad. Also roaches. And over here. If I remember right, this might actually be the location that one of the workbenches is. If it is, I'm going to be so happy. I don't think this tiny little thing is going to fit around your neck. I mean, you're welcome to try. Might look a little, might be a little tight and you'll look a little silly. I'm just saying. And nothing's in here. Personal space. Ooh, cosmic knife. Good. Just one more to go and I will be a happy boy. And the idiot's hunger screws it up. Anything in the oven? Who puts a box of mac and cheese inside an oven? Eh, I don't really need to sleep. I got plenty of health. Although I would have liked to have known that was there and it would have just saved me the time and, you know, the stim packs. I guess this isn't the location that the workbench is. I know there's supposed to be a workbench near uh, Salida del Sol's uh, location. I think it's. Yeah, there's a little soul. Uh-oh. Nice punch. Nah, nothing. Maybe it was over here? Definitely a place I haven't explored yet. Very hard register. Come on. Yeah. So close. Ooh, uh, n more chips, more money, and a return outfit item. Ooh, and a secret stash. Nice. Uh, let's see. 
already pinned like fusion cells, another police pistol that I can use to repair the one I have, scotch, and some stim packs. Nice. And another police pistol. You get a police pistol. You get a police pistol. Everybody gets a police pistol. From what I remember reading, Workman should be around here because it's actually near one of Dean's stashes. Ah, oh, well, I know there's actually one inside the casino when we actually make our way into it, so I guess I could hold out a little bit longer till I find it. It would have been nice if I could find the one that was out in the villa. Yeah, and I can't believe you won't shut up about it. And does not look like a pretty sight. Wish I had a stealth boy. Lights off. Of this oh, too late. You already sees me. Uh, there you are. Looks like I don't see you. On, hit the tank. Hit the tank. Hit the tank. Got it. Got him. I'll harm you. Although, that's actually, I don't know if that's a scripted event right there, of him, like, placing the gas trap right, like, right around the corner. But actually, that's actually some pretty intelligent AI for, what, a 2000, like, ugh. Oh. Uh, it's actually kind of intelligent AI for, for a Fallout game, like, this early. If it is scripted, then that, that's a completely different story. But it's still a cool thing. It shows like these guys actually do have some intelligence. That just makes them all the more terrifying. Come on. Got him. Losing Do I need to? You know what? God, you ain't working out. I need to get dog. From now on. Not listen. Dog out of cage now. Remember you. You were mean to dog. Make dog sleep. Let other boys come out. Sorry, dog. Dog. Dog has heard that before. Was there pretty lights? There. Were things to pull? Hard to pull. <laughs> uh, dog, think back to the, the lights. lights. were pretty. The pretty ones. In the sky. Pointed at casino. And the casino opened up. So the gala have been uh -huh. triggered at least once? ordered it. Take places. Then, master went away. Left dog, dog in cage. Casino opened long time ago. Not sure when. Voice keeps putting dog in cage. Haven't seen master since. Only hear voice on your arm and from walls. So master, master vanished around that time. Until you show up with him on your arm. Yes. All right. That's right, dog. I'm master now. Please don't eat me. Sides growling. God's gonna be pissed. I need some healing. Uh, drink the last of my purified water, and also got a nice little perk. Oh, so close. I need a key to get into that area, and I don't have a key. Hopefully, God will understand. I just need a dog for his strength to deal with the ghost Did people he go around away? here. Dog will be good this time. Floors have teeth. That is an ominous. Huh. I guess it is an ominous. Ooh, and there's my last cosmic knife. Some cram. I'll take the cram. Can I make anything on the hot plates? Uh. I might as well make ghost sight. It's the only <laughs> useful thing I have for the 
bad. I think I just found the floor T. It's the only useful thing that the, the ghost re the, the cloud residue, almost said the ghost residue has in this game. Not taking my chances again. I just didn't remember which. Ah, god damn it! Oh, jeez, dog, you scared the crap out of me. Just see a big lumbering figure just come running through the doorway. I thought that was another ghost person coming to chop my face with a bare fist. No, anything down here? No. Where is it? I need to look up which uh, one was it? Was it south or north? It's on north, and I think we're in south. Um, I as well bring God back out so we can try and sneak past the dog. Ghost back people. in the cage. Now the god's back. Where are we? If it isn't the Yeah, we're in the south. We need to get to the north. Yeah, yeah, I'm the clever one, alright. We lost my head of Evan's hunger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So far it seems a pretty straight pathway. Not, not again. You know what? Busting out the heavy artillery. Okay, not busting out the heavy artillery. The heavy artillery needs some new weapon, new bullets. This is gonna hurt. Or not. I can just aim at his head and then shoot his arm off. Or was that God who punched him? I don't know. I don't care. I have enough to finally get the cigarette pack. Might as well get some chips out of it. Hey, I actually can. So, let's see. I can get... Well, I can't really get the, uh, the automatic rifle upgrade, so I think what I'll do... Which which one do I have on the hollow rifle? It was the advanced calibration. So, we want the reinforced components. And so, once again, even though I missed it the last time because uh, I don't know why, but for the first time ever, and officially this time, I apply a brand new mod in Dead Money. Alright, so nice. Uh, the conditions are a bit better. Does it have any visual effects? Uh, I guess it does look a little bit cleaner, maybe like in the stock area. Uh, whatever. I don't think it actually does have any visual changes, unlike other, like, modded weapons. Oh. Don't think I don't see that haze. Uh, God, need you to step out for a little bit. Huh. I guess not. Although, I did just piss off everyone in the area. Where this is going. Where did they go? Found them. All right. Spear in the back. I thought these were grenades, not throwing spears. Why do I even have throwing spears on me? The only thing these things are actually useful for. I see a Dean Stash. And I also remember I just missed the Dean Stash. Something missed. The only thing that the throwing spears are good for is like repairing knife spears. Let's get over here. Nope. Let's jump over real quick and get that stash. Since we are in the area. Pew pew 
here for large impact wine. Find a. I think I can have enough to make a martini. I don't think this is Seriously? You can't deal with one trapper? You gotta do everything! Rear guard? I oh, mean, I don't really have much of a rear guard in God. Turn speakers off. Actually, that's actually a pretty good rear guard. I'll just take the residue. Let's see. Yes, I actually can make a martini. Cram, some insta mash, some pork and beans. We're moving as fast as we can. There's a lot to cover. Probably shouldn't have wasted that that shot. Ah no. Back away. No idea where it is. Yep. Woo 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 Something tells me it's probably down there. Ah, some poor some 308s. Good. Gives me more weapon, more ammo for the automatic rifle. It's gonna bug me. There you are. Gotcha. Again? Where are we? No idea where we are. I think we got ourselves lost. Go to Salida del Sol House. No thanks. I will Maybe take the chip though. Off your arm. Oh, Where wait. On my neck? Now, how am I supposed to trust you when every like three minutes you threaten to kill me? Ooh, a Tales of a Junktown Jerky Vendor. I've been not meaning to up my barter a little bit, especially coming out of this and with all the goodies we're gonna get. Ow! Every time. The one I don't intentionally try to rhyme, I still do it. I guess the only thing I hear was the tails. All right, let's try and get uh, God to his position. Not gonna go in there for obvious reasons, nor over there. We'll have better rain once everyone's dead and we can just like get to our location. If we get to our location, I have no idea where it would be. Be over here! Indeed it would. Where is your god now? Well he's right behind me. We'll be get we'll be together soon. Hmm. Now neat things. Since there was already one at Christine's and another one was at Dean's. There is another upgrade here. If I can find it. Any minute now. Any minute. Where'd he go? Where'd, where'd, where'd he go? Uh, go? Who? What? Take back what I said about you ripping my arm off. You can rip it off all you want if you could just show up. What, did you have to go back to your home planet or something? What the 
hell is he? How the hell did he get all the way over there? Did he get stuck on something? I swear. Do I have enough for another upgrade? Uh, no. Still got a little bit more to go. Ah! Keep doing it unintentionally. Wait, what was that? Oh, that was just an iron. And that's no way up. Status, reset ventilation system. Maybe he can't go through the cloud. And that's the thing. Oop. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I almost didn't see you there. And I literally almost stepped on you. Just making sure it wasn't a three for three. I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't. Look for more and more indeed stashes. It's actually the most I've ever found in a run through dead money. Where did he disappear to? But I actually cleaned out all the all the cloud inside the entire district. I'm going the complete wrong direction. Oop. Mm. Grammar's digest. I don't really need it, but I can sell it. Speaking of reading, I might as well read the Tales of a Junkertown Drink Vendor. There we go. Barter is now up by three, which means that it's at 83. Oh, it's also the highest I've ever put barter at. Where the hell is God at? You know what? I know a fast way to... <sighs> and you say you're the supreme being. Get down here! Come on. Let's move. Go. Move. There. Get down here. Now stay close to me and don't get caught up on stuff. Almost got away. The idiot's hunger screws it up. Are you sure it was the idiot's hunger and wasn't just your terrible, terrible AI? I wouldn't be surprised if it was both. You're two halves of the same person. He's gonna disappear on me again, isn't he? Almost got away. Ah! Then the idiot's hunger screws it up. So here we are. A row of switches all lined up. How familiar. These switches won't move themselves, after all. There must be some... trick to it. Now that I'm here, what do you expect me to do? Put on a ventriloquist act, because you got that nailed down. I need you to stay here and operate the switches for the gala event. Wait, I do, do you know how to operate the switches? The diagram there tells me what I need to know. If the diagram over there holds the details, I can walk dog through the instructions. That doesn't seem like a smart idea. You know how to operate the switches? I need you to trust You're me right, to get through this. You're right, but trust. Trust is such a harsh word. I prefer mutual need. It's more honest. No, I can help you. These wiring diagrams. I know how to operate the switches in sequence to make fire appear in the sky. I... We just need to make sure that Dog doesn't surface before that happens. To do that, he'll need to be fed. That makes him stay in the cage. Okay, uh, I got... I think I got some dog food in my backpack. Dog has food? torn Should apart a number back? of the inhabitants of this town. Well, he doesn't prefer them to other flesh. 
It'll do for the time being. Find some of the inhabitants. It'll require some hunting on your part. Kill them. Take some of the remains inside them. Bring it back here. They're not easy to kill. But I have faith in you. And the beast must be fed if you want him to stay in this cage. All right, I guess I'll do a little hunting. Two so some of the of meat, meat inside them? Should be enough. Hunt quietly, so as not to draw more here. And of course, I gotta hunt alone. And yes, they are very dangerous. Even though we've killed them by the dozens. Of course, being all alone now, they have a high chance of killing me. I'm all alone. Everyone I know always just tries to leave me. The story of my life. Take your remains. There's another one. Ah, ho, 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 ho. Where are you? Uh oh. And on. Got your leg. Or you, you can just bunny hop out of the way. That works too. What the hell's he doing? There we go. Two chunks of meat. Also, I need to pick up that upgrade that's by uh, the switching station. Not the switching station, uh, the whatever it is. Where, where we left God. Oop. Didn't al almost missed you. Where is that upgrade located at? I need to I need to look it up before we leave. Oh, wait, there it is. I don't need to look anything up. It's an upgrade for the bear trap fizz, the heavy duty springs. Enough meat. I can feel dog's teeth tearing at my ribs, hungry to get out. You're good at fetching. It should be enough. This should keep him where he belongs. For now, I'll wait. Send the signal. We'll be ready. The bell tower. That's right. where you'll trigger the gale event. It's a ways up. I'm sure you'll find a way to climb up there. Hey, level up. All right, level 38. We're two levels away from reaching max level. Now, what to pour stuff into? All right, so I decided to, you know what, say screw it up, barter to 90 so we can actually, you know, make good use of all the, all the things we, we've been acquiring here. Uh, I upped medicine to 90 just because it was like at 87 and it was really starting to bug me. So I just decided to put it up to 90 so the healing effects would go up by, you know, that amount. Survival's at 37 just because I had that spare point to, the, to leave over and I put unarmed at the 40 since I've been actually getting some mileage out of the bear trap springs. All right, so what are the new perks that we can get? Uh, nothing, there's, not, there's no 38 level perks. There's level 40 perks, but not 38. So what was I gonna get in to replace the perks that we have now? All right, so this is actually probably one of the tougher choices I've had to make, but I think for what I'm going to go with for level 38, I'm going to go with the Grunt perk. Uh, just more honest infantry work. You do 25% more damage with 9mm and 45 auto pistols, uh, some machine guns, service rifles, assault marksman carbines, light machine guns, fire grenades, grenade rifles, and launchers and combat knives. I believe that also carries over into some of the weapons that Dead Money has. I'll have Future Me throw it up on the screen if there's any weapons in Dead Money that this actually applies to as well. But that's what I'm going to go with, mostly because there really isn't much more of a choice. It's all the perks I really wanted to get for this adventure I've already gotten. But we're so close to the end now. Uh, let's see what we where we need to go. We need to go to Salida del Sol North, which is actually the location of the snow globe that I need to get. It'll be really helpful, especially for getting those last couple of mods that we need. 
there's like, there's like, oh god. Yes, did you say so? Not you, god, the other god. All right. Let's eat his arm. Um. You know what? Super stim pack. I'm desperate enough to use it. Oh, bye. Ghost Eater Seekers. Man, that dog perk is just so useful. Oh, they're just coming out of the woodwork now. Oh, just because I'm all alone means you guys can gang up on me. Ghost Eater Trappers. We get, just killed 10 trappers. 50 experience points. Oh, it's actually a nice little house to live in. I take it back. I'm probably gonna die. Oh god, I do not want to be stuck on that screen. Are we in the north now? Yeah, we're in the north. Which means the area with the snow globe should be right around here somewhere. Now, you might be thinking, well, TBG. Uh, you haven't gotten a single bottle cap throughout this adventure. What good is the snow globe gonna do when you get nothing from bo but bottle caps from them? Also, house is dead. How are you supposed to, you know, turn it in to get the, get the reward? Since you can't really turn the snow globes that you have in after you, uh, go deal with house. Well, the devs actually thought ahead of this, and... Oh, God. Uh... The DLC snow globes actually automatically get counted to your collection, unlike the Mojave one. So if you don't turn those in by the time, ow! By the time you deal with house, then well, too bad for you. But for the DLC ones, they actually automatically just get transferred right over to the Lucky W, which is nice. And as for the snow globe here, instead of casino chips or. Instead of, instead of bottle caps, we will get Sierra Madre chips. I just need to remember the exact location of where it's at. I know, if I remember right, it's not the whiskey. Uh, it's on a, like a hole in the roof on here. So we're going to stick to the rooftops as we go through the north. Should be around here somewhere. That might be it. That might have been the hole I've been thinking of. Don't breathe too much into that. There it is! What I've been looking for this entire time, the Sierra Madre Casino. You found the limited edition Mojave Landmark Snow Globe. Even though we're not in the Mojave, I think. But for doing that, we get 2,000 Sierra Madre chips. Also, there's a lot of Sierra Madre chips in these desks, so worthwhile to come up here and get it. Also, some shotgun shells. Even though we don't have a shotgun. I'd really like to have a shotgun with us. Oh well. But yeah, we are pretty much set with the chips for the rest of this adventure. We got 2224. Two, two, Sounds like a safe combination or something. Uh, that. It's gonna be that way, isn't it? Too bad! Not going that way! At least now I don't have to freak out over the fact that I don't have to worry about go leaving this place and forgetting. Oh god, you forgot the. Oh god! forget about the uh, the snow globe like I did one time. I see the stash icon, but where's the stash? Or is that supposed to be a trick? Oh, let's see are tin cans, metal, it's not the metal box. You liar. Oh, wait, there it is. You not liar. I actually found a good majority of the stashes. I'm surprised I've actually put so much effort into finding them this time around. Right. Uh, I guess we'll go this way, or does this just leave me in one big circle? Nope, it actually does lead me to a new area. What 
loose. Wee! Ah, oh, man. Is that the way? <laughs> okay, that was kind of funny just seeing him rocket towards the tunnel. That actually... Yeah, that's the, the ranger takedown, but is that it in third person as well? Yep, it is. Just sweep the leg, Johnny. I don't think I actually ever showed the ranger takedown since we got it. But yeah, it just basically knocks people on their ass and... <sighs> Definitely need to watch where I'm walking. And it's actually quite useful, especially in this DLC where melee is a must and the bear trap fist is actually one of the better weapons in dead money. No, since it actually can be modded. I believe the mod ups the damage even more. Still don't like this DLC though. And that's one of the reasons why. Sad. No, my confusion cells drained, but they can be recharged. Any other things that want to come up and eat my shins? Anything? No? Good. Although there are some things that want to make my head explode. I would kill to have Christine with us right now. Oh god. It's on a... I'm kind of in not switching to iron sights with this thing. It's like, sometimes you'll switch it to iron sights, and then there's the other times where it's like, you shoot, and then it's like you're you're doing like the Fallout 3 version of iron sight, which isn't iron sights. It's weird. Might be because this is like a quest item, and it's not supposed to be in your inventory at this point in the game, but whatever. Vending machine! Uh, this vending machine is broken with the ability to repair objects. You may be able to fix it. Let's repair it. And we done it. All right, so let's get our new mods, if I can find them. All right, automatic rifle. Not getting eight of those, not making that mistake again. All right, up next is the bear trap fist. So did I pick up any more mods or was that just those two? Hollow rifle, hollow rifle, yeah. No more mods, but for now, returning once again, but not for the last time. DBG, wait. Oh, there we go. DBG, apply some more mods. There we go. That's lovely. Increases the firing rate, rate by 10%, and the bear trap fist increases the damage by 3. This thing is a force to be reckoned with. And some roaches. I love this thing. It's so ridiculous, it's so out there, it also sends things flying when you punch them. I love it! As much as I don't like this DLC, there are some saving graces that this thing has. Like, some bubble gum to kick ass with. I don't know. We should be getting closer to- Thought I didn't see that. Is there a grenade bouquet up the- Nope! There's a freaking girder that will- <sighs> I just can't win. I want to die. Girder that will hit me right in the stomach. Oh, this is the- just you. I'll take you. I'll take those magnum rounds. And is there anything here? No. I wonder what that gonging sound is supposed to be. Like, I, I guess it would be... I think we're supposed to be going into a clock tower, so that might be it. Yeah, no. I'm gonna... Oh, God. Nope. It's only in this area, so I'm guessing that the tower we're ow, supposed to be going into is like a clock tower, and so it's like, or maybe a bell tower. No, wait, it was a bell tower, so it would make sense that it's the bell that we're hearing, possibly the wind making it rain, 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 whatever. 
Although, but I actually like to see the tower before we actually go in up into the damn thing. Uh, I thought there was like a stash icon. Capas de Sol. I probably butchered that all the hell, but I don't care. Although I know one thing, this screams ambush. Oh, does it scream ambush? Uh, what should I use? I might as well use the hollow rifle. Again, filing cabinets, more chips. And some more chips. Ooh, cosmic knife. Always good to have one of those around. It would be even better if I could find a freaking workbench to use them. Yeah, there, oh, that must be the tower. It's ominous gonging. Kind of, kind of intimidating. I'm not gonna lie. When I first played this, and actually a couple times after like playing this and just like for fun and stuff, this area kind of freaks me out a little bit. Like the gonging sound that plays over and over. The the fact that you can hear the ghost people breathing because you know they're just like coming. Or they're like moving around underneath like the floor and all the streets and stuff. Yeah, th this place is kind of intimidating. Oh god. Probably should have set up a little ambush for them. Do I have any gas bombs on me? Or a grenade? Or something? A 9mm pistol. I got some ammo for it. Uh, I got dynamite. Frag grenades. Frag bombs. You know what? Come on. Come up here. I dare ya. Oh, wow. You actually did it. Ookie Skeleton needs to get enough to say shut the hell up and knock off the racket. Okay, that could have probably gone a bit better. Uh, where's... I'll just put the bear trap fist on. You know what? Drink all the water! And where is my psycho we picked up? There we go. Alright. Time to go ham. Riveting fight choreography. But you, ow my butt, and you're dead. Also the thunder. The thunder also. I am not your mummy. Is that a Monty Python? Are you guys making Monty Python references down here? No wonder I have to kill you. No! Yeah, all these spooky skeletons on the table are just freaking me out. Kind of reminds me of something like a, out of an Edgar Allan Poe novel. Or if I get poem, I guess, not novel. Of course, I can't take a nap. Of course, I can't take a like a five-minute break out of this madness. Oh hi! You know what? You guys get the gas. Give him the gas, Johnny. Oh my shin! Sure, you're dead. Oh, he's definitely dead now. Wait, what's that? Yeah. I don't like that sign. Ask not for whom the bell tolls, because it tolls for me, because I need to get the hell up there. The junk food. Could beat him to death with a tire iron, but I don't I don't feel that 90s right now. Oh god! I, I was just kidding about the tire iron. I wasn't really going to use it on you guys. Oh, I hate that money. Alright, anyone else? Anyone else want a piece of me? 
I got plenty of ammo to go around. No? Okay, good. Oh, you want some of this, do you? Well, fine, I got plenty to go around. There, now you're dead. And just because I don't like you, I'm gonna make sure you're super dead. Ah, no, of course. Oh, what? Laser pistol really isn't working out for me. Nope. There you are. I hate that station. All they ever talk about is just gibberish. Gibberish and first world problems. <laughs> there are a few more mines on me because something tells me this is gonna go horrible really fast. Of course not. Alright, up to the bell tower. Oh, and what is this? Super stim packs for vending machines? Aw, oh, you couldn't have shouldn't have. Also, a focusing lens for the hollow rifle? Aw, oh, man, I feel so privileged. Well, we've made it, ladies and gentlemen. We got the Gala Event Control Panel, and it's almost time to start the show. But you know what? I don't think we're going to do it right now. I think I'm going to hold off till next time. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Going to keep you on a cliffhanger and keep you waiting a bit longer. So next time on Fallout New Vegas, we are going to start the Gala Event, and we're going to get into the casino, and we're hopefully going to end this madness. See you guys next time. Later. <laughs>